It's the Sports Zone Unfiltered, brought to you by HEB. It's been a busy day here, guys, for the Houston Texans. Members of the media met with head coach Bill O'Brien and general manager Rick Smith. They touched on some key things that a lot of people were wondering. What are they going to do about the quarterback position? If you look at uh, our offense, I think you know it's important for us to bolster the quarterback position. And to me, one of the ways to do that is to try to get Brian Mallett back here. Adam Kaplan here talking a little bit about the Houston Texans. When you think about the Houston Texans moving forward, what does Bill O'Brien need to do with this team as far as the quarterback situation goes? I mean, you've got Ryan Mallett in there, you've got Savage, but what do they do in order to improve? Well, Ryan Mallett's contract's up. And I think when you look at the situation going forward, they've got to kind of figure that out. Who's that guy going to be? And what's the competition going to look like? This is not a year to get rich at the, the quarterback position. It, it's not really good for the draft, and it's dreadful for free agency. So you'd like to at least for one year, you've got Ryan Fitzpatrick, who's under contract for this season. You'd like to get someone with him, whether it's re-signing Ryan Mallett, to push him. Ryan Mallett has got a much better arm. He's a drop-back passer. That's the kind of system that Bill Bryan runs. But he just didn't get really a chance to, to play, and unfortunately he got hurt. So I think, again, just try to develop a competition right now and then maybe as this draft goes forward they could find that mid-round sleeper like they got like Garrett Grayson from Colorado State find someone who they could draft and develop. Coach O'Brien also updated the media about the health and the status of the rehab of Jadavian Clowney. He says it's all on track. He also spoke about Arian Foster some updates there and then also he said, you know, we like Andre Johnson. We always have. He's been with this team for a long time, and we want him to finish out his career with this team and finish strong. You know, I've stated this over and over again. I have a ton of respect for him. You know, have the opportunity to coach a Hall of Fame receiver, um, a guy that came into this year uh, having not, you know, participated in a lot of the offseason things and the, his ability to pick up our offense very quickly and contribute uh, in, in a meaningful way, whether it was catching the ball, blocking, uh, you know, doing things for our team that really helped us win nine games. Uh, you, you know, I know that uh, we would like to have him back and we'd like to see him retire at Houston Texans. But again, you know, I don't, I don't think retirement is in, in his mind. You know, I, when I say that, I just mean in the future. We don't want him to play anywhere else. We, you know, he's a Houston Texan and, and we'd like to have him. I, I know that, uh, you know, I think when you look at our needs in the draft, I would say that uh, uh, running back is a, is a position that we can look at and, and and I'm not going to tell you exactly what type of running back we're looking for, but that's something that we could probably add to our team in some way, shape, or form that would help our team if the right guy's out there, uh, if the right guy's out there. But uh, we know that we have uh, a very good running back in Arian, and then we have a, a, a good rookie running back who'll go, going into his second year in Alfred Blue, and then a, you know, a, a good, solid third down back, special teams back in Jonathan Grimes that, that did, some, did some decent things for us this year too. So you know, if we can add somebody to that position and it helps our team, then we'll do it. Thursday was definitely a busy day at the Combine. Members of the media, we met with the Texans. Uh, Marcus Mariota came through, but a quarterback who did not come through on Thursday, like the rest of the quarterbacks, was Jameis Winston. He will be speaking with members of the media on Friday. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Courtney. Freezing up in Indianapolis. It's smoking hot right now in the Sports <laughs> Zone Unfiltered studio. Why? Because we've got the Houston Texans cheerleaders with us, and we've got a big day coming up for you guys, right? On the, on the horizon. Yeah. Tryouts. Yeah, absolutely. We're super excited. It's going to be March the 28th from 3 to 10, and we can't wait to try out. Well, let's <laughs> make some proper introductions here. We have Rachel. Yes. We have Texana and Allison. All right, Texana, tell us a little bit about uh, the, the duties. A lot of people out there say, I want to be a cheerleader, and they do their head like that, too, when they say <laughs> that. But, but you know, it's, there's a lot going on when you are a Texans cheerleader. What can they expect uh, in terms of, you know, expectations? So we have practices anywhere from 9 to 16 hours a week during the season, and there are 50 appearances that are required during the, that time. All right, let's talk about getting ready because someone out there is watching right now, and they're saying, I want to be a Texans cheerleader. Getting ready for it is, is uh, pretty much, I mean, you, you have to have the commitment. Exactly. Um, we have to, like Texana said, uh, we have to practice, and we work out, and it's just, it's a good time commi commitment. It isn't a full-time job, but <laughs> you definitely want to make sure you have time to dedicate to it. Absolutely. And there's, I'm guessing there's dance-offs. You guys got to bring hot <laughs> dances to the table. And, I mean, do you even Macarena? Cause <laughs> I mean, we can. We, we shake it sometimes. All right, well, what, well what, what's the go-to move for you guys? 
I mean, you guys all have to have your own signature move, right? I mean, it's a try. You got to stand out. <laughs> we all gotta go with the hair flip. The hair flip. <laughs> yeah. Hair flip is a pretty traditional yeah, one. Absolutely. I like that. Yeah. Interestingly, I do the same thing. <laughs> uh, all right, Texana, let's talk about uh, serious now for a minute. Some honest tips. You lose some girls every year. It's natural attrition. Mm -hmm. All right, you're gonna have new girls on on the team. Uh, let's tell me about some serious tips. How to get there and uh, be noticed. I definitely always say practice hair and makeup beforehand and you want to make sure that you have a great workout and eating habits mm -hmm. um, as well and take dance classes definitely. You want to be in shape, you want to look your best and stand out. And there's still time. The date of it once again is? March the 28th from 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Very good. Looking forward to that. Good luck to you ladies and we will see what happens I guess with the new One other note, leaders. you guys all have to try out again, don't you? Oh yes, in the very beginning. <laughs> Not Where's, call. Come on, you're vets. <laughs> Gotta right. be in there right away. All right, one last segment to go of Sports Zone Unfiltered on the Cube. Just when you thought you were done with history forever, I pull you back in. What am I talking about? You'll find out on the flip side. Don't go anywhere at Sports Zone Unfiltered on the Cube. It's the Sports Zone Unfiltered, brought to you by H-E-B.